Okay guys, we've got a modified Master System 2 here running the RGB SCART output through a HDMI upscaler. And what we're going to do now is run a game through this and demonstrate the FM sound expansion board capability. So that's all built in. Uh, the game I've got here is Double Dragon, which is one of the supported FM module games. So let me just put that in. Okay, so I've got the game here. Just open it up, machine's off. Um, always make sure the game slot in here and the game cartridge connector are nice and clean. You can, you can do that with a number of uh, cleaning products and uh, some light sandpaper actually works really well. Put that in, make sure it's firmly inserted. Click the switch and let's see what we've got. So we're still running 1080 at 60 hertz. You get two different Sega prompts come up. Okay, so that's the standard sound. This is the, um, the standard intro. Let me just let me just push the button here. Standard game, standard sound. It is running at 60, but this is just to give you a demonstration of the sound differences. So that's okay. It's very playable. You know, no problem at all. Don't get my ass kicked there. Let me just uh, switch this over to FM sound. We've got to do a reset for that, unfortunately. But So we're going to switch it off. We're going to toggle the switch across into the left position. And we're going to fire it up again. So we're still running at 60 hertz. 1080, 60 hertz. First Sega logo. Second Sega logo. And wow, what a difference that makes. You can really hear the sound difference there. The quality is amazing. So I'll go ahead and push the start button. And even the sound effect here. And that music sounds great. So, you know, you got full. I don't know, I could do a headbutt there. That's cool. I'm just going to try and headbutt this guy a little bit more. Oh, I'll get my arms kicked. It's pretty hard to play with one hand. All right, well, that gives you a quick demonstration. Um, FM on, FM off, and other games also run different languages, so you can run Japanese games and get different language options if that's what you want to do. Okay, guys, that's it for today.